I, I haven't taken a couple weeks to, to digest and reflect. I got right back in the saddle here. We've been making things happen every single day. That's just what we do. We did do a lot in the seven, eight months that I was running, but it was after the legislative session. Uh, but that's just the type of uh, a guy I am. You know, whatever I have an opportunity to make a difference, I'm going to do. You're not going to see me go on like some hibernation where I'm like saying, oh, woe is me. That's just not how I am. Uh, and so we're happy to have been back. Uh, I think I was back in the office the next day. Uh, and we've been putting, point, pu putting points on the board ever since. And people here can expect nothing less than me. Uh, we're going to continue to be very energetic. We're going to continue to get a lot of things done. I will say, though, that uh, being the most active governor in, the, in America, it, it, you know, we did, we've worked very hard. But the difference between doing that versus a presidential campaign where you're doing 10 interviews a day, going all these stops on the buses, it is a little bit different. Uh, and so even though we've been very active, uh, I, I think that this is, uh, this, this is good. It's a difference between talking about things and actually doing things. And I'm a doer more than a talker. We'll have to see. I mean, I'll talk to the mayor here. I mean, there's probably a handful of spots that I think that this is the one that's been the most concerning over the last couple of years. Uh, there's a couple others. Fortunately, a lot of the other areas have done, done pretty well. Uh, we were just in a situation, I think, in Florida. I mean, this isn't like our first rodeo with spring break. I mean, this has been going on for decades. And different areas used to be, Daytona used to be, so then they changed some stuff. Panama City, they changed some stuff. So you kind of live, but I think what happened in Florida was when, when COVID hit, starting 2021, we were like the epicenter for everything because people knew they could come and live their life. And so in terms of wherever you would have gone spring break, it's like Florida was number one on everyone's list. So I think that created some, some unique pressures in places like Miami Beach. But bottom line is we've got a lot of communities that have dealt with this for a long time. We want to be helpful at the start. Uh, and we will look, process any request for, in for, uh, for, for support. I will say we had uh, a lot of Florida Highway Patrol that have been very, very helpful, uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement. If there's other agencies that, that need to pitch in, uh, we're, we're open to that. But I would say those will probably be the two, the two main agencies that, that, that will help. And I think we can get ahead of it on the front end so that uh, it, you can come, but you're not going to be able to do some of the things that have been happening. And if that's made very clear at the front end, I think it's going to be much smoother for everybody. Glenna.